Alright, so nice true wireless earbuds are getting cheap, and cheap true wireless earbuds are getting good. Like these guys. Let's talk about it. Alright, now disclaimer. These guys were sent out to me for review, but this won't affect my review in any way, shape, or form. Everything you're gonna hear here will be my own personal opinion. And that being said, let's get started. What we're looking at today is the TW03 True Wireless Earbuds by Linpo World, which is currently, as of this video, $22. That said, inside the box, we're gonna get the charging case with the earbud inside, of course. Some extra ear tips of different sizes, a USB-A to USB-C charging cable, and a manual. <laughs> Taking a closer look at the case, we have this exterior that's kind of like a pleatherette material with Limpo Whirl embossed on it. On the bottom, it's flattened, so when you put it on a table, it won't roll around. And in the middle, there's shiny plastic to show where it opens. And in the back, we'll have a USB-C charging port. Upon opening, we'll have the earbuds themselves, as well as an LED indicator to show how much battery there is left in the case, which is rated to have 24 hours of battery life, in addition to the 6 hours that each earbud gets. And these numbers are actually pretty accurate during my usage of them, with my volume just a bit over 50. Taking a closer look at them themselves, they are completely made of plastic, but by design, they look fantastic. Fantastic. I am actually quite tired of seeing earbuds that look like just plugs in your ears or earbuds that just had their cables cut off like AirPods. Anyway, aside from those nice silvery spikes, the rest of the earbuds are basically just black with the charging points and the microphones at the tips of the spikes. Now, right now, in case you're wondering, this is how the microphone's gonna sound right here. It's gonna utilize whichever one you're wearing. Now, depending on which one you're wearing, it'll record from that side. Normally, it records from the left side, but I put that away and now it's recording off the right side. So you can switch in between them in case you wanna like use battery in one throughout the day. And you gotta switch to the other one, so you gotta take this one out and put the other one in, so just so you know. Back on the build, the nozzle is made of plastic, but it does use an overlayer design, which I am a big fan of, as I just find this design more comfortable and more natural with the ear hole. Pairing is a simple process, but mind you, it can only pair to one device at a time, so if you're gonna pair it to another device, you will have to turn off the previous device it was connected to, and then you can compare it to a new device. And now with everything set up, here's how it looks like on my head. On my ears, I think it actually looks really good. It actually has more of an accessory look, rather than some earplugs stuck in your ear, or some earbuds that just got their cables cut. They don't stick out too much either, so they actually look really good from the side of your head, but also from the front, where you can tell they don't jut out all that much. They just kind of go within the flow of your ear. So fashion-wise, 10 out of 10. And I should also note that these use touch controls, which are surprisingly, honestly, very good. They're actually quite responsive, which I wasn't expecting at this price. Alright, so far so good for these guys, but let's talk about sound. When it comes to the sound signature of these guys, overall highs, mids, and lows, it is decent. At the high end, it's just okay. Mid end is like, it's a little better. At the low end, it is pretty good. It is more emphasized as well, so you're going to get more bass as these are bassier earbuds and that's to be expected especially for earbuds around this price range. The bass is definitely more boomy than it is punchy, so there's less impact and a little bit more of that rumbling feeling, which is pretty cool for certain songs. Now when it comes to the sound stage, it's pretty small, but there's some size to it. When it comes to imaging, also just pretty okay. Now in terms of use cases, I'd say it's actually pretty good for like everyday listening for music, watching videos and movies. And even when it comes to workouts, it's actually stayed in my ear pretty well. I do a lot of jump roping and it hasn't come out or loosened, which is pretty good, at least for me and my ears. So your mileage will vary depending on the size of your ear. But for me personally, who has like pretty large ears, it stayed in very well. Now these aren't noted to be IPX certified in any way, shape or form. It does say to avoid things like heavy rainstorms and for some reason, um, thunderstorms. Now, considering it's talking about heavy rains, I'm pretty sure it can handle some sweat. So I think it'll be okay if you're like a really sweaty person. Now, there is one thing it's not too great for, and that's gaming, but that's also to be expected at this price range. There's just too much lag, like a split second lag or half second lag, and even one second lag when you're playing a game on your phone or even on PC, depending on what game it is. But that's also to be expected at this price range from like 20 to 30. I don't expect any good amount of latency when it comes to playing games. There just isn't anything out there. All right. Now now with all that being said, overall, these are a great buy at just 22 bucks for what it can do and provide, as long as you're not gaming, of course. In terms of like value, this beats out a lot of things really close to it. And the, the bottom market is sort of a rough market where things usually kind of suck. For example, Skull Candy just released their dime, but that thing only has like three and a half hours of battery life, which is much lower than the six hours you get from this. And then another one that comes close to this would be probably the JLab Go Air. And those have five hours of battery life, which is still less than this and it costs more. And honestly, JLab sound is not exactly ideal. I personally think that these guys sound much better and they definitely look better, that's for sure. And if you do want to purchase it, I will leave a link for it in the description and it is an affiliate link. So I do get a slight kickback to help run this channel and it'd be great if you can just you know, use that one. Now, that being said, I also have I think, a Twitch channel running that I'm trying to get into basis. I'll leave a link to that in the description, shameless plug. And with that being said, 
pretty much all I got today. So if you liked the video, do leave a like if you loved it. Subscribe for more content. Hit that notification bell if you want to see more coming up and you want to know when it's coming up. That being said, let's get going, guys, and I'll catch you later.